Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Spencer here, and welcome to part one of our tips and tactics for the United Colonies of Mankind. Uh, we're going to be starting off part one talking about the ubiquitous dropships uh, that are so, so very important to Drop Zone Commander. So the UCM has three types of dropships. You have the Raven Light dropship, you have the Condor, which is your medium sort of workhorse one, and then you have your Albatross, which is a heavy. Now you might notice there's actually four models here, and that's because the Raven comes in two variants. You have the Type A, which carries troops, has this little cargo box looking thing on the bottom. And then you have the Type B, which is more open, and this is designed to carry uh, Wolverine Scout buggies. So, there are technically four dropship models, even though there's only really three official classifications of dropships. Uh, now, like with any other army, your light dropships are going to be your fastest, but they're not going to be heavily armored or armed. Uh, your medium dropships are going to be your primary workhorse. They're going to carry the majority of your units into battle, and then you get the heavy dropships, which are just... Uh, for delivering massive quantities of very heavy, hard-hitting items. Uh, UCM dropships have a very interesting uh, assortment of weapons on them. They all have a twin UM-5 Gatling gun, which is RNG-3, uh, four shots, uh, four up accuracy, 24-inch uh, free range, 12-inch countered, moving fire, uh, it varies. Uh, and they're all to the front arc. Now, the other thing every one of these has is they can all take missile pods. The Ravens can take them for 8 points, the Condor for 10, and the Albatross for 15. Uh, and this gives UCM dropships the ability to actually shoot enemy armor because they're uh, energy 8. They're only one shot, so you're not getting a lot of shots off with them, but they're more of a defensive weapon than anything else. Uh, three up accuracy, 36 inch free range, a countered range of nine inches. So they're very short range, uh, unfortunately. Uh, front arc, moving fire, varies, and they all have the shape charge uh, special rule, which means that they, no matter what they need to, uh, to roll to actually damage, if they roll six, they, they damage no matter what. So, uh, so yeah, the UCM dropships do have a way to fight back, which means that these guys can, uh, technically speaking, take out any aircraft weapons that are trying to shoot them down. Uh, and one of the best strategies for that, I find, is using something as bait, usually using like a, a raven that's uh, cargo has been destroyed. Use this bait, send it out. Uh, your opponent's going to most likely try and shoot at it. Um, and then once they've used their AA fire on it or on something else, you can wing another one around and hit them with a missile. So you can fight back against AA um, much more efficiently than the Shaltari can, which uh, they do it purely through their, their five up passive save. So these guys do have an offensive capability. So let's dive in and let's talk about the Raven light dropship. All right, so the Raven, uh, this is the UCM light dropship. It's uh, stat-wise, uh, both configurations are the same. Uh, armor 5, 24 inch move, active countermeasures, one damage point. Uh, the Type A, which is the troop carrying one, is 28 points a model, whereas the Type B is only 15 points a model. Pretty standard, the rest of it, you know, aircraft, transport, uh, small landing zone, so they don't take up a lot of space when they land. No special rules. Uh, like I said, for weapons, they have the Gatling gun and the missile pods. Uh, their move and fire is 12 inches, so they can still move half their speed and shoot, which uh, does give these guys a lot of mobility. Their downside, of course, is they're only armor 5. Um, so... They're going to get picked apart by massed AA fire very, very easily. Uh, but you do use these, despite them being both Ravens, uh, you do use these two models in rather distinctly different ways. So the Type A 
uh, has a capacity to transport 10 infantry. Um, so you can stick two stands of infantry, because you see infantry are usually five guys to a stand, uh, in one of these guys. Whereas the uh, the Type B, like I said, carries the Wolverine Scout Buggies. It can carry two of those. So your Type B can actually deliver anti-aircraft fire to where it needs to be on the field uh, very, very quickly. Because, again, you can move 24 inches uh, in a turn, and then next turn, provided you don't get shot down, of course, uh, you move 12, land, deploy the Scout Buggies, get them behind cover so they don't get shot up, and then the next turn they can move and shoot and uh, do all that good stuff. So these are very much rapid deployment units. They're not they're not going to stand up and take a lot of power or uh, a lot of fire because again, armor five, only one damage point. They go down pretty quick, uh, but they are a good way of delivering either troops to an objective or concentrated AA fire or even missile pods if you decide to put those on the Wolverines, which we'll talk about more in another video. Um, anywhere you want them on the battlefield. You do have to be careful. You do want to keep these guys behind cover, so you do want to keep them behind buildings most of the time, out of line of sight, uh, because they are fragile and they will get shot down, uh, especially to massed AA fire from most uh, any aircraft tank squads. So moving up the scale, we have the Condor Medium Dropship. This is perhaps the most popular dropship of all of Drop Zone Commander. It's uh, featured pretty prominently in a lot of pictures, um, and it's, I believe it's one of the first designs we actually saw when the game was being announced. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking model, very long. Uh, the Condor is going to be, like all medium dropships, it's going to be your main workhorse. Um, so stat-wise, it's armor 5, Moving to 18, ca uh, active countermeasures, 3 damage points. Uh, they're 31 points, a model with a large landing zone. Again, they have the, the Gatling gun and they have the missile pods built over 10 points. Their moving fire is 9 inches, so they don't move very far and shoot. Uh, but still half speed, which isn't bad. Um, the Gatling gun on, on all the UCM dropships is an anti-infantry weapon. Uh, you use it when your opponent has infantry like in a building shooting out. You just sort of wing one of these guys over, park it in front of the building, and, and gun down what's inside. Uh, and then if you pay the points for the missile pod, which honestly I recommend it. I mean, 10 points to get a missile pod. Now mind you, it's 10 points per model, not for like a whole squadron, because they're individual. They don't run in squadrons like... Uh, other smaller aircraft that we'll get into later. Um, so the points can add up real fast if you have a lot of these, but it is, it is a good plan to have it. Uh, the Condor uh, can carry three of the uh, main battle tanks, or it can carry one of the uh, or I guess I think it carry up to two of the bigger tanks so stuff like the Scimitar and the Gladius I think they take up like one and a half clips each um, see so yeah, there's not a lot to talk about with these it's not like when I was talking about Shaltari where there's a lot of you know oh you can position a gate here and then pop a guy out through that and through that uh, UCM drop shirts are very straightforward very very easy to get a uh, get a grip on because there's nothing complicated to their rules. They move, they land, they deploy stuff, and they fly away before getting shot to death. Um, but the Condor, like I said, is going to be your your sort of workhorse uh, dropship. And for 31 points, they're well costed, and you can squeeze quite a few of them into an army. And a lot of things can use them, so you're never going to be really uh, short on what you need this guy to do. All right, and at the top of the dropship food chain for the UCM is the mighty Albatross. Uh, this is the heavy dropship for the United Colonies of Mankind. It's also the dropship on the 
smack dab in the center of the rule book on the, uh, the picture on the front there. Uh, the Albatross is armor 5, like all other UCM dropships. Only moves 12 inches, active countermeasures, 6 damage points. They're 66 points a pop. Uh, so they're still cheaper than a Gaia heavy gate for the Shaltari. And are actually the cheapest heavy dropship by, I believe, 6... It's like 6 or 7 points or something under the, uh, the Scourge heavy dropship. Uh, large landing zone, no special rules, transport, blah blah blah. Now, this has the Gatling gun like all the other ones. Uh, can take the missile pods like I said for 15 points. However, the Albatross also has another array of guns. It has two batteries of uh, heavy machine guns. One on the uh, left and one on the right. So it does basically have a 360 uh, arc of fire, well, not 360, but 180, 270, maybe. Can't shoot directly backwards. Um, but these are Energy 4, 4 shots, 4 plus accuracy, 36-inch uh, um, uh, free range, 12-inch countered. Um, all of its weapons are moving fire 6, so half its speed. So the Albatross can really do damage to infantry. So if there's infantry hiding in a building, this thing can lay out a lot of firepower and really just kind of mess them up because you've got two machine gun batteries plus the Gatling guns. Uh, so you can theoretically get 12 shots out of this thing in one turn. So if your enemy has, again, has infantry in this building, just move one of these guys up and let loose with a hail of bullets that few things are likely to survive. I mean, yeah, they'll have soft cover and all that jazz, but uh, realistically, that many shots, you're going to kill something. Uh, the Albatross... The Albatross is interesting because it's not heavily armored. Again, it's only armor 5, but it does have 6 damage points, so it can survive a while. Uh, but it also has a very high transport capacity. It can carry nine main battle tanks. So you can load nine sabers into this thing. Uh, or you can load, I believe, like three scimitars or three gladiuses, gladii, whatever the plural gladius is, um, into this guy. So yeah, the albatross... Like I said, like all other UCM dropships, it's very straightforward. You move it, you land it, you deploy stuff. Um, but this does have survivability in that it has six damage points, and it does throw out a lot of firepower uh, against infantry. Not so much against vehicles, because it can take the missile pod, but again, it's only one shot. So, uh, most games you'll see one, maybe two of these in a list. Uh, if you're playing at like 2,000 points or so. Um, but on average, I wouldn't expect to see more than two in a single game. So there you have it, folks. The UCM dropships. Now, uh, you're probably wondering what you should get. Well, get a bunch of Condors. You get three of them in a starter box. So if you sit there, I suggest picking up one or two Albatrosses. Uh, the Ravens are very tricky to recommend. I do like the Type A for its maneuverability and its ability to rapidly deploy infantry. Um, instead of having to load a bare APC into one of these and then fly this over and land it and uh, disembark the bear and then disembark the infantry, you could just get one of these which moves faster uh, and can go land and disembark the infantry right off the bat. This method the condor with the bear with the infantry in it does make the infantry more survivable because they have two layers of stuff they have to go through. Uh, the big problem though is if this gets shot down and you get the, uh, the wrong result on the uh, downed aircraft table, uh, you just lost a medium dropship, an APC, and the infantry inside, or two APCs because it can carry two of them. So. <laughs> It becomes a very tricky thing to kind of figure out. These are good for very quick, very rapid deployment. 
um, load some, I believe it's Legionnaires, the guys with the missile launchers, into this. Two stands of Legionnaires, pop them in a building that's going to have a good lane of fire across the board, and you can have a lot of board control. Uh, again, this is good for very rapid deployment of Wolverines for AA or uh, missile pods, but mostly AA is what I see them used for. These can be used to deploy AA tanks, uh, which are going to be more survivable than a Wolverine. They're just going to take longer to get to where they need to be. So it really depends on how fast you want to be with getting stuff on the table. Uh, so basically, if you want speed, go with the Ravens. If you want survivability, you go with the Condor and the Albatross. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two of our UCM tips and tactics where we'll be talking about uh, UCM tanks. And, boy, howdy, are there a lot of UCM tanks. Uh, don't forget, if you're interested in getting a drop zone commander army or any army for any game, for that matter, painted up through Blue Table Painting, you can send an email to projects at bluetablepainting.com. Talk to Steve. He'll hook you up. He'll get you prices, and he'll take care of you. So once again, thanks for watching, stay tuned for part two, and I will see you guys later.